Welcome to the Night Club, guys. It's your host, the Night Wrencher. Now, today we're going to be installing a 50cc accelerator pump on my 750 Holly vacuum secondary carburetor. And the reason I'm going ahead and installing one of these, a lot of people don't seem to like them or don't seem to understand why you would want a 50cc accelerator pump, is uh, because I've leaned out the jets. I'm, I'm probably around 14 to 1 at cruise. And a power valve, I've got a 6.5, but I do need to move it up to an 8.5. So uh, any kind of sudden movements of my throttle, because of how lean my jets are, it'll push it up towards the uh, 15, 15 and a half. And if I go uh, too quickly, I will have a little bit of a stumble. And uh, as you know, no amount of jetting or air bleeds are going to fix that kind of issues because it's instantaneous. I've already got a 40 nozzle, so the nozzle adds more fuel. And then the uh, pump arm adds more duration, so I do need a little bit more duration. If I'm just driving normally around town, I have no issues whatsoever. I get pretty decent uh, fuel mileage, but I do have that uh, little bit of hesitation when I go to stomp on it. Like, let's say I want to do a burnout or if I want to do some donuts, as soon as I go into that initial hit, it'll hesitate for a second because of my lack of fuel, and then it'll quickly pick back up. So this is a kit that we're going to be using. It's going to be the Holly 20-11. So let's go ahead and open it so I can show you what's inside. Okay, so inside the package, we obviously have the diaphragm. It's a 50cc. It's a little bit taller than the 30cc one, which is uh, to be expected. You have the actual cover and arm assembly. So uh, I should have got a polished one or a cast aluminum one. I ended up getting this nitrate coated one, which normally I don't have a problem with, but because the carburetor is an aluminum carburetor, as you guys can see right there, it's a nice bright silver color. It's going to look a little bit funny, but I mean, we're not here for to win any kind of car show, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, you've got the taller spring. This one's got a cone shape to it on top, so that way the top will fit perfectly in the center of the diaphragm because on the 50cc, the little um, washer that's on top is a little bit narrower than the 30cc one. So we got that. We've got the actual arm, the pump arm assembly. This is a little bit beefier, a little bit taller than the 30cc one. And you're going to probably have a little bit of an issue trying to bend it if you do want to make any kind of serious adjustments on it. But this one will bolt right on. And then it comes with the, the taller screws, four of them. It comes with the new screw for the accelerator pump cam. And it comes with one, two accelerator pump cams. So the, normally the cam that I like to use is this brown cam, but it also comes with this yellow cam. I don't know what the difference in these two cams is. They look pretty much identical, but I will be using this brown cam because that's what I always seem to use whenever I do one of these swaps. The last couple items in here are the little pivot arm where it's supposed where you're supposed to slide in the accelerator pump arm and it comes with the little associated clip uh, this is more of a retrofit item you don't actually have to install this if your carburetor already has this stud uh, built in for example on mine it already has the correct stud and the little clip already installed so all i got to do is undo that and then take it off and we should be good to go these are the tools you're going to be using from left to right. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, an adjustable wrench for your fuel rail. You're going to need a 7 16 a 3 8 and the last tool you're going to need is a 5 16 socket or a flathead screwdriver to remove the fuel bowl off the carburetor body. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the installation. I'm just going to do this in a quick time lapse so you guys can see how easy it is to install even if the carburetor is already on your vehicle. There's nothing crazy or different you got to do. Okay, I've got it all apart now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple things. So the first thing I want to show you guys are the differences between the 30cc arm, which is this one, and the 50cc arm, which is this one. You can immediately tell that there's a huge, huge difference between them, in both in terms of the geometry of the way that they're actually set up and their physical size. So you can see that the steel for the 50 cc arm is probably twice as thick as the one for the 30 and the reason for that is that it, there's more there's more fuel inside so there's going to be more hydraulic pressure that this thing's going to have to compensate also because of the way the uh, cam is situated on the arm the the arm is going to be subject to a lot more pressures in both the front and the back so you're going to need a little bit more resistance to bending in terms of the little arm for the accelerator pump. 
Another thing I want to show you guys is the relation between the two different cam profiles. In reality, this comes with three, but I haven't been able to quite figure out what the differences are. But regardless, you guys can see that the white cam on the right is the one that was already on the carburetor. And then this brown cam on the left is the one that's going to be replacing the white cam. As you guys can see, the 50cc one is considerably more aggressive in order to take advantage of the full uh, 50 cc's. Uh, but not only that, it also has a more aggressive ramp as well. It is only gives you one chance to go ahead and install it on your assembly. If you don't install the correct cam, your 50cc accelerator pump is not going to work. So you got to make sure you install the right cam. Uh, don't try to install a 30cc cam on a 50cc pump because it's not going to give you the results that you want. The second thing I want to show you guys is the fact that this is a dual feed style bowl. This has uh, the center hung float bowls. And right now it currently has a 30cc pump assembly. I want to show you guys that you can install the 50cc upgrade not only to the center hung float bowls, but also to the side hung float bowls as well. So as you guys can see, it's pretty much the exact same pattern. Uh, it looks very similar. If you were to install the 50cc upgrade on a 4160, you would get the exact same result as, as if you were installing it on a 4150. So it really doesn't matter if you're using the older style or newer style of carburetors. It all works exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and replace these four bolts, remove the assembly, remove the diaphragm, remove the spring, and then we're going to install all three in the 50cc variety and then get this back installed onto the carburetor. Okay, I've got it all back assembled. I've got the pump cam installed on position two because on position one, there was way too much preload on the pump assembly. Moving into position two gave me plenty of play, so I had to go ahead and adjust that out. Uh, you take a 7 16 on the bottom and a 3 8 on top, and you go ahead and loosen the nut. What it'll do, it'll uh, release a little bit of the spring, and it'll extend the little bolt downward, which will then take up the slack on the accelerator pump assembly. Everything else is already perfectly installed. I've already double checked that there's plenty of room. Uh, after you've got it at full throttle, you're supposed to be able to push the, uh, the little pump arm uh, on the housing a little bit further down and I did check that so I'm going to be making another video on adjusting your accelerator pumps but for now it looks like everything's installed correctly okay I've already primed the fuel system let's see if it squirts uh, I don't know if you guys can catch that because it's so dark in there but it looks like it's working fine everything else right here the assembly right here as you guys can see when you stomp on it, the accelerator pump arm, it has this little spring that retracts back. And then this nut will drop back down as pressure is relieved. So check this out. As you guys can see, that's what makes the 50cc accelerator pump such a great upgrade. I'll have another video of me testing it out. But right now, I've got to install a set of LS2 coils. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Night Wrencher out.